Hey everyone, how's it going? So now that the new Godzilla and Kong New Empire movie is out, I thought it'd be fun to show you some different scenes from the movie. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Godzilla and Kong versus Scar King and Shimo. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Godzilla and Kong versus Shimo and Scar King, let's begin over here with Shimo. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to begin by making a little line. It's just going to go down and then back up here for the eye. Then I'm going to make a little line. It's just going to go down and up. Next, I'm going to make a line. that's going to come up. It's going to go back and then down here. And that'll be like the eyebrow. And then I'm going to make like a long line. It's just going to come down and I'm going to curve it back. Next, I'm going to bring this up. We're going to come down and then up and down again. And I'm going to make a little line for the nose and then one above it. Next, I'm going to curve this line down to here. I'm going to bring this line down and up. Then I'm going to bring this line over. And I'm going to curve it up here a couple times. I'm going to add a curve line here. Then I'm going to make some kind of sharp little teeth inside of here for Shimo's mouth. Next, I'm going to bring this line back here and then down. Then I'm going to kind of curve it to here. Then I'm going to make a long line. It's just going to kind of come up and then down here. I'm going to make a little line. It's going to come up here. And then right back here, I'm going to start making some little sharp points to kind of start off with some of the spikes on Shimo. I'm going to make some of the longer pointed ones right here. I'm going to make some broken lines right here and a couple little lines here. Then we'll do some little points right here. We'll do some little lines here and then a couple little spikes over here. Next, I'm going to make a couple little curved lines and I'm going to bring this line down. Then right here, I'm going to bring this line down to kind of start the arm. And then I'm going to curve this line up and then down. I'm going to bring this line down to a claw and bring it up. Bring another one down to a claw and up. And then one more down to a claw and I'm going to kind of curve it up. I'm going to bring this line over and then up here. I'll make a couple little curved lines here. Next, I'll make some curved lines right there. And then we'll make a few more little pointed lines here. And then a couple more little lines over here. I'm going to make a broken line that comes across here for a little detail. And then we're going to make a bunch of little lines that kind of come down, little broken ones right here. And we'll kind of do the same thing here. And then let's do the same thing across here. Let's make a bunch of little lines coming right across here for some texture and detail on the arms. And we'll kind of bring a line over. Then starting here, I'm going to make another line. It's just going to kind of come down for the other arm. And we'll kind of make some of these little lines over here as well. Now, over here, let's make Godzilla. So we're going to kind of line up the eyes. So let's make a little line. It's just going to go down and then back here. We'll make a little line that's going to go over and up. We'll make a couple lines down. 
I'm going to make this line come up and then back here for the head. Then I'm going to make this line come out and then we're going to bring this down with a little line here for the nose and a little curve line. Next I'm going to bring this line up. We're going to bring it up and down. Then I'm going to bring this line down here. Go down and in and I'll bring this line down and we'll curve this up and around for the jaw. We'll draw a little line here with a couple lines in there. And then we'll do some sharp teeth in here. So we'll do some sharp triangles on the top and on the bottom. Next, I'm going to bring this line down a little bit and a couple lines up. And then I'm going to make a couple more little lines that come back here for the back. Then I'm going to make some lines that are just going to kind of go down and up to give him his neck. And then I'm going to bring this line all the way to here. Next, I'm going to bring this line down. And I'm going to bring a line that curves down for the arm. And another one that curves down here. I want to make one claw that comes out and back and one that's going to come down. Then I'm going to make another one here and another line that kind of curves up here. We'll kind of curve this line up. Next, I'm going to bring this line up. And we're going to curve this in. Then I'm going to bring this line down. And I'm bring this over and then kind of up here to a curve for his thumb. Then I'm going to make a claw here. One here and then one right here and bring it back. Next, I'm going to bring this line down, and I'm going to bring it over here for his arm. We'll add some little curve lines, maybe a couple extra ones to kind of shape out the claws. And even a couple down here where you won't see too much. I'm going to bring this line down and up, down and up, and then right to here. Next, I'm going to make some little sharp points right across the back of Godzilla. We're going to make these get a little bit bigger and a little more jagged as we come across here. Then we're going to make some kind of sharper points to make his dorsal plates even bigger. We're just going to kind of make these more jagged as we go along here. We'll make kind of like a broken line that comes up here to the neck. And then we're just going to make some more kind of long broken lines coming all the way down here. And then we're going to make some more kind of broken lines up here. And I'm going to make these long curve lines kind of follow the shape of the arm here. And then we'll do kind of the same thing here. Just kind of make these long broken lines here. Then we'll add some extra lines kind of right along the head here. Now our next step up here is to add Scar King and Kong. So. Starting right here, I'm going to draw a little line. It's just going to go down and then back for the eye of Scar King. Then I'll make another little line. It's just going to come up and then down here. I'm going to make a little line. It's going to come up and down and then one more here for the eyes. I'm going to make a little bump here and then a bump here for the nose. And a little line down on each side. Make a line that comes down, and then a line that comes down. And I'm going to curve this line around and then down here. Bring this line back, and we'll just kind of come down and then up. 
We'll add some sharp teeth on top and some bigger sharp teeth at the bottom. And a little curved line and a line for the tongue. Next, starting here, I'm going to bring this line up and down and then up and down. I'll bring this line out and down and then out and then in. Next, I'm going to bring this line down and we're going to bring this up and around to here. And I'm going to curve this line up to here. I'm going to bring this to here and I'm going to make some kind of pointed lines all around here to make it look like he's kind of bald here and he's got fur. Then we'll make some little broken lines for some wrinkles on his head and a little curved line for his ear, a little line inside there. I'll put a few little lines underneath here and a little line by his nose. Next, starting here, I'm going to do a little line right there. Then I'm going to bring a little line coming, kind of coming back here for his shoulder. I'm going to do a line that goes down and up for his chest, and then one more kind of down and up, and it's going to curve around. Bring it to here. Next, I'll bring this line kind of down and then up. I'll bring this line down here. Next, I'm going to bring this line kind of in and bring this down for his long arm. And we'll bring a line back here to kind of show where his body is. Next, I'm going to bring this line around here. And I'm going to kind of curve this line up here. I'm going to bring a line that's going to curve around and up like this for his finger. Then we'll make a couple little curved lines right here for his other fingers. Then I'm going to bring this line down and then bring it over to here. Then I'm going to put his crystal in his hand. So I'm going to make this sharp kind of pointed little crystal shape right there. Then I'll just add a couple little broken lines around here and then some extra little quick lines. Just kind of make it look like there's a little bit of texture, kind of some shading on his fur. Next, I'm going to finish this drawing off by adding Kong. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to begin by making a line that's just going to go down and I'm going to bring this back here. Then I'll make a little line that's going to come down and up for the eye. Now I'm going to bring this line up and I'm going to curve it around. I'm going to draw a little line down and then a curved line for the nose with a little curve in there. Bring this line down, bring this up and down and then over to here. Bring this line down and back. I'm going to make some points here and kind of bring this up for his beard. Then I'm going to bring this line back here, and we're going to kind of curve this around. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw the back of his head. It's going to kind of come up and then down. And then right up here, I'm going to make like this, like his back and shoulder. Then I'm going to make this line come down here. We're going to bring this out, and I'm going to make this line come up and down, over, and then up and down again and back for like a fist, and we'll bring this line down. I'm going to bring this line back. I'm going to bring this line back here. Bring this line over, and then this one over. Then we're going to bring this line down. Then I'm going to add a sharp tooth on the top and bottom with some smaller ones back here and in the front. I'm going to do a little line here with a curve for his ear. 
And I'm going to do a couple lines underneath here with a little line up. A couple lines behind his eye too. Next, I'm going to bring a line that's going to curve up and kind of down. Then I'm going to make a little curve line around here to kind of show where his glove is. Bring this line up, over, and down, and then another little kind of square shape here. Put a little squared shape there. And then we're going to make a little bit of a curve here with some fur. Then we'll make some extra little lines here. Next, I'm going to curve this line down. I'm going to make lines going to come over, down, and then back. A little line here. I'll make this line come up. We're going to go over, down, and bring it up over like this. Next, we'll make it a little furry here. And then we'll add a couple lines here. I'm going to make this line come down, over. We're going to go up, over, and then bring it back. And we'll kind of curve right here for his thumb. Then we'll make lines going to come over, up, and then back. Make a line here and here. We'll curve this around, curve this around. Just kind of make it look like he's ready to punch. Then we'll just add some extra little like lines and squares on here and a couple extra little lines here just to kind of make it look like it's really robotic. Just kind of add some extra square shapes all over. And we'll just kind of fill in some little areas here. Then we'll kind of add some extra little lines on Kong just to make him kind of look a little bit more furry. Some extra lines here. A little line in his ear too. And there you go. There is your drawing of Godzilla and Kong versus Shimo and Scar King. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.